Yeah, just to give you some context as to how we landed at, uh, I suppose, an early entry program. So as you're aware, 2020 has been a very different year for many, uh, not least the current year 12 students who have had uh, the final year of their schooling significantly disru disrupted. Uh, this year, obviously, everything is operating to different timelines. Um, and at Swinburne, we're well aware that those disruptions have caused uh, quite a bit of concern, quite a bit of anxiety uh, uh, amongst students, not just in terms of how they may uh, fare with their exams and how they might succeed with their VC, but also with gaining entry into university in 2021. Uh, and the Special Entry Access Scheme um, is, is still available through VTAC. And uh, we, 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 we imagine that Cs will likely be inundated with different types of requests this year. Um, I suppose it remains to be seen how extensive special consideration can be applied to students who have experienced different types of disruptions this year that don't necessarily sit uh, within the normal categories. And we're also well aware that quite a few interstate universities, um, ANU probably being the highest profile university, uh, have introduced um, alternative entry schemes for 2021 uh, designed to meet the needs of students who have, um, haven't been able to transition successfully um, this year. Um, so what we did land on is a kind of a combination between a few different elements. So the alternative entry pathway that we are proposing is one that is a non-ATAR pathway. It combines a recommendation from a school, and if this recommendation is submitted, it provides the student with access to an early conditional offer. We have also lowered the VC English study score uh, reducing it from 25 to 20. Uh, and this is designed to help offset that disruption um, based on the challenges the students have had with learning this year. So I suppose in a nutshell, this is probably the best, um, I suppose, summary of our new entry criteria. Uh, just before I go into that criteria, the, the criteria that we've used in previous years remains exactly the same. So we still actually want to encourage students to, con to, to do their very best this year, uh, try and strive to get the best score possible um, this year. We want them to complete year 12 as well. And if they're able to receive an offer through the regular pathway, that's great. That's what we want to encourage. Uh, but the new pathway that, pathway that we've put together is that uh, combines the following. So it's the completion of year 12. We do want students to continue through this year and complete um, the scored year 12. Um, the recommendation from the secondary school and also meeting that prerequisite of unit three and four, uh, for unit three and four in English um, of 20. Um, and all other prerequisites for courses, whether it be in maths methods, for example, remain exactly the same as they do for our regular entry pathways. And as I mentioned before, the ATAR is not a factor for selection for students entering via this path. Um, and as mentioned before, there, those that do submit their completed secondary school recommendation will also receive a direct conditional letter of offer for the desired course at Swinburne. And one thing that hasn't changed is that to receive a full offer, applicants must ensure that they have preferenced the course um, as part of an early entry program as their highest eligible, pre eligible preference uh, on VTAC. Otherwise, we're unable to make them a formal offer. Um, usually, the school recommendations uh, uh, work towards a prescribed template. Um, and a delegate of the school would sign off on whether they believe the student has the, is suitable and has the aptitude to enter into tertiary education. Um, sometimes the delegate may, may just be the principal, sometimes it's the head of VCE, uh, sometimes it might uh, include the career practitioner or a head of, a, head of a learning area. Um, initially, with our discussions, the principal recommendation was uh, originally how it was kind of packaged, uh, but Nish Nishan and I have been working quite closely to uh, extend the delegation uh, to include both heads of learning as well as career practitioners themselves because we're very aware that you all work quite closely with the students um, and you also have access to their results and understand um, quite, quite deeply their suitability uh, for courses at higher education level. And school recommendation schemes, they're, they're typically aptitude-based. So where ATAR fails to um, satisfy as a selection tool for a course, a school recommendation is used as a trusted alternative at many Australian universities. And the way our school recommendation um, at Swinburne will work is that we really want the onus to be on the student to initiate their interest in the course. So um, the student, um, the onus is on them. If they think uh, the school recommendation pathway, the early entry pathway is the best fit for them, uh, they, are, they are encouraged to download a PDF from our website. And that PDF will be downloadable from next week. Once they actually have that PDF, we want the student to actually then uh, approach the key delegates in this school, and it might be yourselves, and try and obtain a rec and 
and work to obtain a recommendation um, if the school see, sees, sees them as suitable for the school recommendation. And the, second, the signature will come from that authorised delegate. And we have also got some uh, measures in place where we do want the, um, the signature and the delegate to actually provide an, an edu.au email address. So we actually do have that uh, qualification that they are someone working in the education sector uh, within the school that they're actually attending. And the student only needs to submit one school recommendation. So even though they may have an interest in um, multiple courses at Swinburne, um, the school recommendation is not recommending them for a specific course at Swinburne. It's actually recommending them um, based on their aptitude for higher education. So if there was a student out there that was interested in business, design, engineering, a mix of different courses, um, just the one school recommendation is fine because it's just assessing their suitability for higher education study. Now, once once the form's been signed off, um, if 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 the school if the school does recommend the student, uh, the student can then submit that form through the swim, through the Swinburne website, and that will go to our admissions team yeah. after that. Now, the um, submissions won't actually uh, commence until um, VTAC opens, which will be from the third of August um, in a couple of months' time. Okay, so. That's, that's in a nutshell, I suppose, the early entry program that we proposed. So really, once a student has the recommendation um, and that has been sent in uh, to Swinburne, we'll obviously be having a, a bit of a review of those and making sure that we are able to issue that conditional offer. So the conditional offer will be sent directly to the student with the email address that they have provided to us. Um, but it will be conditional. So it will outline to the student that they do need to meet the prerequisites for their course. So that is obviously the reduced English requirement plus any other um, prerequisite requirements. It will also state that they need to complete their VCA or an Australian Year 12 equivalent, so whether they're studying interstate, we will still be considering those students, um, or even if they've complete, completed the IB. Um, they also obviously need to be listing the participating Swinburne course um, in their uh, uh, course preferences, um, and with that it will obviously depend on it being their highest eligible preference. This one is obviously pretty key because if we aren't their highest um, uh, successful preference, we obviously, we have no control over that in the sense of how VTAC operates. So they will not receive a uh, off, uh, the full offer for, from us through VTAC unless we are that highest um, eligible preference. Um, we will be making these conditional offers from mid-August, so once everything is up and running, but that will be, I guess, a fairly staggered process, as in we don't expect all students to have their form submitted on the same day, so it will happen gradually for its students, and it, um, I guess the thing to highlight is it won't be instantaneous that they receive this conditional offer. They might have to wait just a little while to get it. Um, we'll obviously be um, have this as a rolling process. The key part is should the student meet all of these conditions that are outlined on their conditional offer letter, they will then receive the formal offer from us through the standard VTAC offer rounds. So it is that they'll have their, um, their conditional offer and that will hopefully give them a measure of comfort and surety going forward, but we will need them to keep their eye out on all things VTAC. So um, they're probably the key points here. Here is the list of courses, and I apologise that it's a bit squishy on your screen. Uh, it's a technical term, sorry. Uh, but you'll see that there is a range of single degrees and double degrees that correspond to it. And I believe there was also a question around whether Unilink is included. Absolutely, Unilink is included uh, in this early entry program. So the starting point for this is not all Swinburne courses are participating. It is merely the group of courses that are on your screens now. The courses that were selected are the ones, again, that we feel has the best, um, again, internally we feel confident that having a non-ATAR pathway uh, is, is one viable and that internally we can support the students uh, to ensure that they have that reasonable chance of success in this course. These are courses that one have specialist requirements, both from a delivery point of view, film and TV, it's just, you know, how many cameras do we have and how many students are going to use these cameras? 
um, we have some hard restraints around those courses and hence why it didn't seem fair for us to look at broadening the way students can access this and we didn't feel we could still keep an equitable um, way of balancing that demand and the student experience which we put a lot of pride into uh, in, in, in our courses here. So that was a factor. Uh, courses like uh, what Claire mentioned around education, they have minimum ATARs that are mandated by the government or an external parties involved. And then nursing in some ways comes into mind with that as well. From next week, students will be able to register their interest in the early entry program uh, for 2021. And the school recommendation form is downloadable from the website. Um, and obviously, VTAC timely applications will open on the 3rd of August, and that's when uh, the school recommendations can actually be submitted uh, via our website um, to the admissions team. Uh, we're going to endeavour to try and get the uh, conditional offers out to students as soon as, as soon as we can. We're aiming for uh, from the 17th of August, uh, hopefully earlier if we can make it work, because um, it'd be great to give students that assurance that um, they do pretend, they do have a conditional offer uh, in tertiary, for st tertiary study at Swinburne next year. Uh, timely applications uh, close uh, for VTAC on the 30th of, of September. But just to note with the final um, point there, so we haven't actually put uh, assigned a closing date for our school recommendations or a, or a deadline as to when the offers will actually be released. We're still um, waiting on advice from VTAC with regards to what the timeframes look like like uh, with regards to offer rounds, um, change of preference rounds. Obviously, we, 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 we know that it, the um, students have been committed to uh, receive their results by the end of 2020, but what the dates from VTAC come out uh, as a result of that, that remains to be seen. But we'll be taking that into consideration once we confirm our closing dates and our offer release dates um, for the um, school recommendation um, program.